Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is uh, project number three of my Halloween week and these are these super cute um, rosette um, planter decorations. So you stick them in your plant pot. You could put them anywhere to be honest, but they look really good. I've got some really nice big plants in the house and I've already popped some of them in there and they just look really effective. So I've got a variety of sizes. I've got this really nice big double one, which is the one I'm going to show you today. Because once you can do this style, then you know you can do all the smaller ones. And then it's just covered on the back. So it's really neat. And these are all on kebab sticks. So they've got a point on the end so they can easily obviously go in to your plant pots. But they're great if you've got um, porch at the front and you're in the front garden and stuff you can stick them all in the ground um, but these are just staying in our house and our house plants so I've got that one this one here has got a cute little um, spooks and spells little uh, sign on it there and then I've got um, this one here these two have got the goggly eyes on them again happy Halloween and that one with the ghost so these are really really fun so let's crack on because they are super easy to make I've made these before um, for, for you know parties and stuff and they always go down well so you need grab these pieces here and you'll need your scoreboard as well right first of all get your glue gun on your hot glue because you will need that for this project um, then grab a kebab stick I picked up I think a pack of maybe there's loads I'm guessing maybe 30 40 from Walmart um, for probably not over a pound not much over a pound or a dollar whatever they're just really cheap so grab them because they're handy for all kinds of crafts um, you then need, let me just get my scoreboard so I can do all the measurements. So for the projects that I've already featured any stamping in for Halloween, it's just this one here that I picked up from a shop in China. And um, it's just got, probably can't really see it that well. I, uh, can you see it okay there? Yeah, it's alright. Um, and it's just got some... There's just only a few on there and that's what I've pretty much used for this Halloween so you don't have to go out and buy loads and spend loads you can easily make lovely things okay so that's the one I'm using though um, right so you need a set of stitched circle framelits or it doesn't have to be stitched but some circle framelits um, just to make all of your decorations so depending on what size rosette you're doing depends on what size of the circles you need and to be honest there's no right or wrong so just decide once you've done your actual rosette what size circle you want to do and then just stagger them down with the you know um, the colors that you're using um, and then uh, you'll get the idea and the style that you like so those um, then I've already done this one ready so this is to make a double one okay so this is where we've got two layers of rosettes so there's basically two rosettes in one whereas all of these here are all just single so if you don't want to do a double one then you will only need two you only either need that one or you'll need that one depending on what size you want to do so the width of the card okay will determine how big the rosette is okay so for example this tiny one here I think was one and a half inches whereas this here is two and a half so it just shows how much wider it's going to come okay so this is the side that you will change according to what you want to do the length of it will be the same so 11 so all of them will be 11 even the tiny little ones here so that length will always stay the same but your width size you can change entirely up to you okay so you need two pieces of two and a half by 11 and then to make the double one you need two pieces of two by 11 okay now I've scored all them and I've scored that one because all the scoring is the same but I'll just show you quickly on this one all you want to do is score every half inch so literally every one so half inch one inch one and a half two two and a half three and so on all the way along and just do that on all the pieces so again the scoring will be the same no matter what you use okay right so you can get rid of all of that and then you just need to start to fold all of these so we'll start with the two black ones first of all okay so what you want to do is on one of the pieces you want to fold down first and then just squeeze down fold down fold down fold and just squeeze them all together so you're doing a valley and a mountain valley mountain all the way along like so okay and then make sure it's all lined up and as straight as you can get it and then just squeeze all of that into place okay 
So that one we started by folding down first, then on the next piece you want to fold up first. So creating a valley fold and then you go into a mountain and so on. Okay. Make sure it's as lined up as you can get it and then just squeeze that all into place. Okay. And repeat that again. So you want to start off by folding one down first and then all the way along. And then up. Okay. So that's what you should have. So now what we want to do is stick them together. So first of all, start with the bigger ones. So because you've got this one that you started by folding up first, so this will be your valley fold, and this one will be your mountain. Basically, they're going to stick on top of each other like so. So just grab, again, some glue. Where did I put my... Just want to, on that valley fold, just... We don't need too much. And then just sit that one over the top. Make sure it's all lined up and just hold it in place. Well, okay, so you'll have that kind of shape. Then what you want to do is bring the top, and as you do, push it down. And as you hold it all together, there is a rosette. So if you want to just do a single one, then there, there it is. Okay. As soon as you let go, it all pops, but that's fine. Leave that one to one side. And we'll go over and do this again here. So just... Um, exactly the same, okay, so there's those one. two, like so. Now what you want to do is pop one over the top, so the smaller one wants to go over the bigger one, okay? And you just want to go around and make sure they're all sitting in their little kind of valleys, alright? They're all slotted into the valleys and the mountains. And then same concept, bring it all down and then lie it down flat, okay? That banging is from... Uh, mid-autumn um, festival celebrations here in China so bangers have been going off all week so there's some more for you because they feature on another one of these Halloween videos so <laughs> lots going on at the moment okay so that is what you will have okay so I'll just show you again make sure they're all in the valley folds make sure that the smaller piece is right up to the edge here so both of those colors are in line so that when you bring it down you've got that nice even outer border okay so bring it all in together it's kind of a bit hard because you've got one hand and then you need to hold the glue gun but it's fine you'll do it so make sure your glue gun's nice and hot and basically you just want to put some glue all into that hole and also splodge it all on the top there because you're going to be covering this with your um, decoration so be careful with the heat of that glue gun you can pull off oh and then you drop my gun. You can pull off all of the um, bits of glue. Okay, later. so you can see there where that glue is all set and it kind of holds it in place on that side. What you will need to do is flip it over because this side's trying to. Can you see? That's completely natural. It will do that. So again, get your glue and again just splodge it around the back there just to let that all dry. When it's almost dry, I just push it down with my finger, obviously don't burn yourself, just to push any glue into the cracks as well, just to kind of help it hold it. Okay, so that's that side done as well. So now you'll have two like that. Okay, so now we can stick our decoration down on the front. So mine's gonna go in the middle like so. And this is where you can, you can either put the glue on here or on there, so tie it to you. I'm just gonna pop it on this for now because I know how far what area of space I've got to put the glue a bit more in the middle there just again just to help hold it all together and then you just want to make sure that's nice and centered like so and then again just go around and then all this extra glue will help by keeping that all in place as well you can just pull all those loose pieces off like so. How lovely is that? So you could also have these as decorations if you wanted to make a necklace. You could do the same thing with some ribbons so the kids can have them. It's another idea. Um, you could do this as bunting so you could have string attaching them all and have just big rosettes. There's lots and lots of ways to use the actual rosette piece but today I'm going to show you just how to make these. So now you just want to make sure you've got it facing up the right way so that when you add your stick obviously it's coming down there. So I'm just going to hold that I'm going to turn it over there so I know that that's in the right place. 
And then again, just going to splodge a load of this on here, like so. Pop my stick in place and at the same time pop that over the top as well. So you're just not using up all your glue. And just make sure you might have to move it and that's all in place. And there you have it. So it's got a nice neat background. Background? Nice neat back. And um, there, finished. So you could probably do, I mean, I've done all these probably in, yeah, I'd say about an hour from cutting out all the bits and pieces. Um, it's the putting together is really quick as long as you've got your glue gun ready. Um, but there you have it. How cute are those? I love them. So I'm going to go and put them all back in the uh, plant pots as some little Halloween decorations in our house. So again, hope you enjoyed this tutorial from me. Um, subscribe so you get to see the rest of the week and hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.